Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy, Allen Walnut Creek Bath Boutique, and today is a sugar scrub video. Or should I say a coffee scrub video? I've never made a coffee scrub, guys. Never! Ugh, so it's about time. Back in January, I bought a couple pseudo butters from New Directions, and one of them was my chamomile butter, and the other one was the coffee butter. And it is strong. It is like, it is strong. It smells exactly like a cup of coffee. So when I was trying to figure out how to make a coffee scrub, I was like, how much coffee do I actually use in place of sugar? Because I, I knew I didn't want to do like 100% coffee. That would be crazy coffee, by the way. So I got to looking around on a couple of videos and a couple of blogs and um, Holly at Missouri River Soaps has a video out, Ellen Ruth Soaps. They both had a video out this spring and I think Wholesale Supplies Plus had a, a recipe thing. So I just kind of, with all of that, I kind of gathered that they took about 4% of their sugar load and used it as coffee grounds. So that's kind of what I did. So guys, I have been very much encouraged by a couple of friends to start selling a couple of my formulas. This is one that is now available on my website. Yay! <laughs> and I've sold two so far. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that because it's just, you know, we're all trying to make a living here and it's just another little bit of revenue that I can, can gain. So if you are interested in purchasing this formula, I will have the link to it down below. So guys, before you all run off and buy this formula from me, <laughs> I want to let you know, this is not a pipeable sugar scrub. Okay. Those, those pipeable sugar scrubs are more dense and, and harder in consistency to keep those peaks that you get in those valleys from the piping tip. This is more luscious in my opinion, and it keeps a really lovely uh fluffy texture that just doesn't hold up well to piping at all so if that's important to you hold your horses don't go buy this formula i will at the end of this video show you a demo of this coffee scrub and i'll probably try to wait maybe a week so that you can see after it settles for a while how it keeps that texture so let's let me get ready i still have to get my room ready and me ready and everything ready but I'm so excited to make a coffee scrub. Oh, really quick, well, I'll tell you that later. So first things first, I am going to get my steric acid and everything in my measuring cup here, if you can see. I did spray down my countertop with 70% alcohol and let it air dry. I have my hair net on, my, my apron, and my gloves. And I am gonna start with my steric acid. Okay guys, so for my uh, emulsifier, I like to use Glycerol Sterate, PEG 100 Sterate. Uh, Lotion Pro, they call this their Lotion Pro 165. Uh, but this is, this is really, um, if you change the emulsifier, it's gonna change the consistency. Uh, so I can't say what another emulsifier will do for you, uh, but this one's good because it doesn't it doesn't add a lot of thickness to your formula. So if you're wanting that pipeable consistency, maybe sw swapping out this with just your standard e-wax may be what you want to do. I am going to put this in the microwave there, and get it melted kind of gently to make sure all of this is melted quite nicely. I went ahead and added my olive oil with the steric acid and the emulsifier and heated that up in the microwave. It heats better with some sort of oil with it. I knew better than that. I don't know why I didn't do that to begin with. And then I'm just gonna put some safflower oil in here. Cool it down just a little bit. that in let's see our temperature that took that down to 134 so now I have also 
weighed out the shea butter and that coffee butter. And can we just take a moment? Look how luscious. That looks good enough to eat. <laughs> it's it's a really soft consistency, more so than I think the lavender, or I keep calling it lavender, but the chamomile butter was. We're just going to let this melt quite gently. No rushing this phase, but I will I will break up that coffee butter into smaller chunks just so it melts a little faster, but I'm not going to like put it back in the microwave to get it to melt or anything like that. It's plenty hot to melt on its own. I've already sprayed my mixing utensils, my bowl, my whip attachment. That's all sprayed and sanitized. So as soon as this gets to be where it's completely melted, I'm going to transfer it into my mixing bowl here. And then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And I'm just going to let it get nice and cool. And we're going to start the whipping process. And sometimes that takes me a couple times. Uh, I do tend to get impatient and I whip it before it's ready. <laughs> But that's next step. So as soon as this is melted, it goes in here and then it goes in the fridge. Well, it's actually been a couple hours. <laughs> I started to put this in the fridge. Then I realized I had some errands to do. So I ran some errands, went and got some lunch. Then I came home and put it in the fridge and I left it in there forever while I made a soap. <laughs> so now it's been sitting on the countertop because it probably got too hard. I haven't even tested it. I had come back down here. I resprayed everything. I don't know what that is. I think that was one of my soaps over here. Yeah, it's a little tough. That's a little hard still. Let me see if I, I don't want to break my or bend my wires. Um, yeah, got everything resprayed and cleaned. Got my bottles ready. Yeah, it's not bad. That looks luscious. All right. This is what happens when you leave it in the fridge too long. It gets on the sides and it doesn't want to come off. But it's important to take it all the way off. All of that, that cold bit that we want to mix that in really well. This smells so good and I don't even have the fragrance oil in here yet. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my cool down ingredients in here. So in here, I have my vitamin E and my preservative, Liquid Germal Plus. And then in here, I have my IPM, which is, what is it? Uh, isopropyl myristate, something like that. It's an emollient. So that's gonna make it feel really nice. And in this one, I have my fragrance oil. I'm just going to get that started on low, clearly. A lot of times after I add all of this liquid, I do have to put it back in the refrigerator because it's going to loosen it way up. You can see how much that loosened it and it smoothed it out as well. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, gosh. I'm excited. I cannot believe I've never made one of these sugar scrubs before. I guess I'll start calling it a coffee scrub. All right, guys. I'm going to scrape it again. 
get it back in the refrigerator. I had to take a little break again because I wanted a pop. <laughs> so I went to the gas station, got me a, a fountain drink. And um, that's kind of like my treat. <laughs> if I work really hard, I deserve a pop. <laughs> um, this is amazing. And all I want now after getting my pop is a cup of coffee. <laughs> this smells so good. Oh my gosh. I know. It's like, stop being so dramatic, Tammy. You can say it. You can think it. So this is about as good as it's gonna get. This is why it's not that pipeable. It stays fairly fluid. Inconsistency, and that's just, to me, I'm okay giving up the piping effect. There's all my sugar and my coffee. Oh, it's so pretty already. That coffee really does make it a lot more dense than I'm used to. I did not think that that coffee would make such a big difference. But this feels very, very dense to me. guys I'm gonna switch out my mixer for my scale and we're gonna start drawing this up all right so this jar fits right at seven and a half ounces and I have these little coffee bean soaps I made I don't know guys, this is not something I've ever done before, but you know, for pictures, that could be kind of cute. <laughs> Everyone's gonna get three little coffee cup soaps. What are you gonna do with them? Throw them away. <laughs> kind of impossible to use, right? <laughs> I'm gonna keep filling and put my little coffee bean soaps in there. So guys, I'm having to retape this portion of the video because I had to reset my camera to factory settings. And when I did this earlier, it was way too dark and weirdly yellow. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But let me show you my, uh, if I can get it to, there we go. There is my label. I do create my labels in Canva, so if you want to see how I do that, I will post a video either up above or at the end of this little video here. Uh, I really like my, my labels this time. I try to get it to focus here. I thought they were really cute. I did buy some sleeves to shrink wrap the top. And let me just show you this one. This is for another video coming up, but I am not very good at this. I think my sleeves are too big. So I need, I need practice or better sleeves for the shrink wrapping, but I'm trying to do that too. But here's the tester. I made two of these little testers because um, I've already used one this week. It was awesome. <laughs> I made five of my large jars and four. Uh, four of my larger's, five of the smaller jars. I can't remember right now. This smells so dang good. Ah, I love it. All right, so consistency check. I'm gonna pull you in a little bit. Okay, so here's the consistency. So this is denser 
than normal. And it's weird. I made uh, four other scents this last week and, and the consistency was a lot looser. So just know that your, your ingredients will make a difference. But look, it's not dry dry, but it is drier than my normal usual uh, formula. So I'm going to just make a note to add maybe a little extra oil to this next time I make it to just combat that dryness. I don't know if it's the coffee butter or if maybe the coffee grounds are absorbing more than sugar. I really have no idea, but it is just a little bit drier. You'll see in a couple weeks if you watch the next video. Uh, my consistency is a lot different and a lot fluffier than this. So this is dense, whereas my normal everyday sugar scrub is fluffier. So there you go. But I love it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's denser than um, my formula usually is. So changing, changing your ingredients will make a bit of a difference there for you. But look at that. This has been sitting probably two weeks. I've used it once and it is amazing in the shower. I am in love with this. So I'm really proud of it. This is going upstairs into my shower again. So let me get out of here and let you see the end of the video because I think that one was okay <laughs> color wise. <laughs> Good enough anyway. <laughs> my viewfinder looks so dark and I've tried to lighten it and it is not. Hopefully this isn't too dark. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I have a keeper now at work. I think I need a keeper at home to keep me straight and, and knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> we have a new employee and it's like, you didn't know your job description was, you know, reminding me to do everything, right? Don't forget your phone. <laughs> you got your purse? <laughs> Don't forget to go see your mother-in-law after work. <laughs> so yeah, I call her my keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't believe I've never made a coffee scrub before. This is amazing. I I am in love with this stuff. This is going upstairs with me. Oh, it smells so good. This is probably going to have to be like a uh, like a staple on my shelf because I think it's going to sell really well. Um again, Here's the little beans inside that I made. Uh, I stopped taping the filling and I try to do my replica surfaces. <laughs> and I tried to do like thing and I thought, well, I'll put that on Instagram. And I don't think I did very good. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll add it to the video or not. If I did, you know, let me know what you think. But I don't know that it's Instagram worthy. <laughs> it may not be YouTube worthy. <laughs> But so that's why I kind of cut off the filling one more time. If you're interested in the formula, check it out. It'll be linked down below. I thank you guys so much for your support. You guys know that. Um, so just, yeah, thank you so much for your support and uh, encouragement and comments and likes and subscribes, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. The next video I think is going to be a soap video. <laughs> So at this moment, I still haven't chosen a stick blender. My stick blender died. It was on my community page, so I don't know who all sees those uh, community like little snippets. But my stick blender died again. They're going to take it back, but the last time it was it was a month or so before I got it back. Uh, I can't wait a month. And I'm tired of that thing breaking all the time. So even if they replace it, it's probably going to be my backup stick blender. And I really need to get one in now. Uh, so I have to choose one, order it, and try to get it in very soon. So your next video, I think it's still going to be a soap video because I think I still have one or two in the queue. And then there's going to be another scrub video. <laughs> Maybe another. I don't know. I need my stick blender, guys. <laughs> I have a backup if I really if I really get desperate. So anyway, rambling, rambling's over. Have a great week. I hope to see you next time. Bye.